Kennedy friends. I am Miss Jen. Maybe today you could call me Farmer Jen. And I am the children's minister at Trinity Episcopal Church here in the Woodlands, Texas. And I am so happy to have joined us for a children's chapel today. Now, the first thing that we do at children's chapel is look at our cross. What color is on our cross today? It's green. It's been green for a while now, hasn't it? And the green reminds us that this is a time that we can grow just like the green plant. We can grow in our hearts and our minds and love of God. And the next thing we do at Children's Chapel is light our candles. We have nifty little electric candles, so they're safe. So you light one candle, light two candles. Now what do the candles remind us? That's right, they remind us to be peaceful and they remind us that God is with us. God is always with us. Now, today we're gonna read a story in the Bible that's called a parable. And before we do that, I almost forgot. We need to do our prayers. Now, go ahead and open up your bulletin if you have one, or you can just follow along with me. The Lord be with you. And also with you. God be with me when I think. God be with me when I think. God be with me when I speak. God be with me when I speak. God be with me in my heart. God be with me in my heart. Oh dear God, let us never part. Oh dear God, let us never part. And now it's time for the Apostles' Creed. We believe in God above. We believe in God above. We believe in Jesus' love. We believe in Jesus' love. We believe in the Spirit too. We believe in the Spirit too. Who comes to tell us what to do. Who comes to tell us what to do. And now it's the prayers of the people. I'll say the prayer, and then you're going to respond, Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for the leaders and everyone in our church. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for the leaders of our world so we can live in peace. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for our teachers to help us so we can learn and be more like you. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for our families that your love will fill our hearts. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for the boys and girls and their families who are hungry and give thanks for those who help them. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for all people who are sick or sad. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for all the people who have died. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray you will be with us in all we do. Jesus, hear our prayer. Now, are there any special prayer requests this morning? We continue to pray for the doctors and nurses and people who are sick. We pray for everyone to stay healthy and safe. I pray for all of you here with us this morning for Children's Chapel. We ask all these things in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And now it's time for the confession. Dear God, Dear God, I am sorry I have done things. I am sorry I have done things. I ask you to forgive me. I ask you to forgive me for hurting friends and those I love. For hurting friends and those I love. Please help me to do better. Please help me to do better. Thank you, God, for your love. Thank you, God, for your love. Amen. Amen. Now, back to that parable I was about to tell you about. We're going to, a parable is a story that Jesus would tell so that his disciples would it helped them learn what he was trying to teach them. And today we're going to read the parable about the parable of the sower. Another word for sower is farmer. And the Bible I have today uses the word farmer. 
So we're going to look in the book of Matthew. Remember, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, the first of the Gospels in the New Testament. And we're going to look at chapter 13. The same day Jesus left the house and sat by the Sea of Galilee, large crowds gathered around him. So he got into a boat and sat down, and all the people stood on the shore. Now, Jesus would travel around the countryside with his disciples, and all these people would gather around him, crowds of people. So right now, I kind of imagine he got on a boat and kind of went away a little bit from the people, and, the sh and all the people were on the shore, and he's on the boat. Can you imagine that? So all the people stood on the shore. Then he told them many things using stories or parables. He said, a farmer went out to plant his seed. He scattered the seed on the ground and some fell on the path, but the birds came up and ate it up. Some seed fell on rocky places where there wasn't much soil. The plants came up quickly because the soil wasn't deep. When the sun came up, it burned the plants and they dried up because they didn't have deep roots. Other seeds fell among the thorns and weeds and the thorns grew up and crowded out the plants. Still, other seed fell on good soil. It produced a crop 160 or 30 times more what was planted. Whoever has ears should listen. Listen. Here is the meaning of the story of the farmer. People hear the message about the kingdom of God, but they don't understand it. Then the evil one comes and he steals what was planted in their hearts. Those people are like the seed <clears throat> that planted on the path. The seed that fell on the rocky place is like the other people. They hear the message and at once receive it with joy, but they don't have deep roots. So they last only for a short time. They quickly fall away from the faith when trouble or 